So what is your mantra? Well, just before I let you go on, on your day here, again, you, you are aware that the fragility of your fan base, correct? And how, and how long it has been, right? You are, you are, you are fully cognizant of this, right? I, I'm, I'm, f- I'm fully aware and we embrace it. Um, I actually, I absolutely love it. And, um, okay. you know, and, and I, and I get it. I get it when it, the, the league is a league. If you win, you're a winner. If you lose, you're a loser. And, right. uh, uh, but, um, but the one thing that I'll say, you know, with the, the mantra is all gas, no break. And, um, you know, just stepping on the gas, and it's it's a way of life. When you, how you wake up and, and approach every day, and understanding that if you're not going to bed better than when you woke up, you you, you miss an op. And uh, uh, so we're we're foot on the pedal and and doing everything we can to try to get better every single day with how we meet, how we practice, how we eat, how we train, how we do everything. Um, and uh, we're excited to get get going, and we're excited to get to meet our all these guys. We're excited for the pandemic to end, so we can have face to face meetings. We're excited for all of it and um we're excited for the challenge of doing something here that uh hasn't been done in a while and but uh it, it's gonna be fun it's gonna be a fun process i mean so is that what my, my problem's been for the first 51 years of my life is i have not embraced the fragility is that is that what you're saying to me yeah, because yeah, that's what yeah. help me yeah. so i i don't mean to turn you into my dr melfi there in new jersey <laughs> but i i mean like is that is that what my issue like i need to embrace the fragility coach you know what you, you know what i'm I, I would like to see you at a few games. I know you're busy on, on Sundays, and I know. But I mean, when was the last time you came out to a game for the for the New York Jets? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I mean, as a fan, my as God, fan. as a fan, as a fan, it was the uh, it was the <laughs> AFC Championship game that Parcells brought the Jets in and was actually up by t- ten points on the Denver Broncos. I was sitting up there, three rows in the top of the stadium, in a dead quiet uh, mile high. Uh, wearing my Wesley Walker jersey that I had from Camp Locanda. It still fit. I was two years into my ESPN Sports Center career, and people were like, What's the Sports Center guy doing up here? Otherwise, right. it's Thursday night football, you know, for NFL Network. That was the, okay. it's been a while. It's been All a right. while. Well, we got to get you there as a fan so you can have an unbiased yell come out of your mouth. But, uh, <laughs> but, I know uh, how to spell Jets. I still know how to spell J E T S. I do. But no, I, I, I just, again, I'm, I, I kind of am giving voice to what a lot of fans are. And they're, you know, the, you know, hoping that you, along with Joe Douglas, and the decision that you made it to is the one that is going to lead it to a generationally talented kid, potentially, uh, leading a promised land with a coach of the plan. That's you know, what the, we're, we're hoping for here. The the big thing I'll say is don't judge us on the past, but judge us on what we do from this day forward. And uh, and and I think I, I think people will like what they see with with young men playing as hard as possible, playing together, uh, playing fast, playing violent, and uh, and whatever the result is, I, I think we're going to like it. But uh, but there's there's a growth that we're going to have to have, especially with our youth. But um, but it's going to be a fun process to go through. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.